News flash. Marine forces on the besieged planet of Taidan 3 have finally broken through the enemy lines after a long and bitter struggle. The Braves had been beaten and battered by constant enemy attack for over four months, but the alien horde proved to be no match for good old human determination. Field Marshal Santiago says he is certain that Taidan 3 will be in human hands by Christmas. But Christmas will never come for the poor boys of New London, where over 100 men were slaughtered while defending a launch pad vital to the evacuation of civilian refugees. The cost was high, but sources say their sacrifice allowed the evacuation of almost 2,000 men, women, and children. Boys, your sacrifice will be remembered. Yes, their sacrifices, along with the millions of other sacrifices being made throughout the outer colonies every day. Ours is a fierce enemy, bent on destruction. But humanity has persevered this far, and we have no intention of stopping now. And wherever the fight takes us, wherever the challenge should arise, the United Nations Space Command will be there, fighting for everything that makes us human. The United Nations Space Command. Protecting Earth. Protecting humanity. Protecting you. should have died three times by now. Simulation paused. And we should have had intel that a force this size was even in the area. Intel's not always perfect, Jack. 
You know as well as I do that when those are real elites shooting at you, you're not going to be running off alone into the middle of the enemy army. Do we know that? I don't know that. Well, we hope that. But regardless of your apparent disregard for your own life, I expect you to take a more cautious approach, both in these combat simulations and on the battlefield. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Good. Now, Mackenzie, why did you not cover your teammate when he found himself caught by enemy fire? Sir, Jack's maneuver seems specifically designed to draw the Covenant's attention. I was using that diversion to gain a better firing position, sir. And you just decided that Jack's life was not worth saving? I decided that he could handle himself, sir. And that if he was determined to kill himself, then there was nothing I could do to change that, sir. Well, that's awfully sweet of you, honey. Oh, don't honey me, you arrogant son of a bitch. Uh, arrogant? If I you're not even going to try to complete the, the exercise, door. then you're endangering you the whole team. Ratios? And no amount of hot rodding can make up for the need of so the At attention! Now! If you two can't work together during a training exercise, you sure as hell won't make it out on the battlefield. Now, I don't care if you like each other, but you will work together. That's an order. God damn it, you are the two best soldiers that Earth has to offer. Do you think you can put your personal rivalry on hold long enough to win this war? Yes, yes sir. sir. I hope so. Now return to your starting positions. Computer, restart training simulation 14. Belay that order. Admiral on deck. At ease, Master Chief. I'm Admiral Peterson. I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. The United Nations Space Command has sent me here with new orders for you and your men. Now, I don't have to tell you that we're fighting a losing battle with the Covenant these days, but what you don't know is the specifics. Now, this is classified, but our estimates show that at the present rate, our fleet could be all but annihilated within a matter of months. I have been given the task of finding a way to turn this war around, and I think we just found out how. Admiral Peterson. For the past seven years, Covenant forces have been making steady progress in this sector, and we've barely been able to slow them down. They've glassed world after world, they left most of our fleets in tatters, and they haven't even paused to take a breath. But then, two weeks ago... What happened? We don't know. Simultaneously, all across this sector, every single Covenant ship disengaged from battle and headed at top speed for that star. Is there anything significant about it? Not that we can see. It's got three planets, only one of which can support life. There is no evidence of any special energy sources or mineral deposits. Certainly nothing worth stopping a war for. It's almost like they're regrouping after a defeat. And that's exactly what we think they're doing. We can't translate their transmissions perfectly, but from what we have gathered, a high-ranking member of the Covenant religious hierarchy is fleeing Covenant space, and he's headed in our direction. Is this the beginning of some new offensive? We don't think so. The orders were so urgent that they weren't even encrypted that heavily. It seems that catching this guy is more important to them than fighting the war. We think he might be trying to defect. Defect? Admiral, has this ever... It's unprecedented. We have never heard of any disunity among the Covenant forces at any level, especially among their top echelons. But the facts are that their entire armada has been recalled to this system, with orders to find a high-ranking clergy member and kill him on sight. Jesus. What are our orders, sir? You and your Spartans are going to head out to this system, where you'll rendezvous with the Livingston. On the Livingston, you'll meet up with a technical advisor specially trained in Covenant signal interception and translation. With his help, you will ascertain the current location of the defector, get to him before the Covenant forces do, and escort him to UNSC-controlled space. Any questions? Yeah. When do we get started? You've got one hour to pack your things. Dismissed. <laughs>